How are you guys doing? My name is Bubba Reynolds. I'm the Director of Sports Performance here at Orange Lutheran. Here at Orange Lutheran we have 800 athletes. We have a 5,500 square foot facility with three full-time strength and conditioning coaches with over 28 years of experience between all three. Coach Ryan Wynn, Coach Chase Sanders, and again myself. So come check out our spot. So again, you see what you get. I think we honestly have one of the best spaces in Southern California, if not the nation. 18 racks, you know, front and back, chains, band, bells and whistles, you know, everything to be able to execute a high level program for any high school, if not college in the nation. Our four stack force plates, it allows us to actually look at our athletes force production from a concentric to eccentric means. We also look at asymmetries, right and left side of the body to allow us to tailor programs specifically. So what you're seeing is Coach Ryan being able to push in a counter movement jump, applying force. So we're actually looking again at concentric force coming out, eccentric force landing, as well as kind of some of our asymmetries to allow for you know specific programming, back to play, et cetera, et cetera. So we utilize our velocity based training for some of more of our advanced athletes, in season athletes. So we can kind of look at a few things. Okay, are we actually producing what we want? You know, in terms of power production, in terms of strength production, in terms of speed. So we utilize our velocity-based training to be able to tailor specific programming for specific times of the year. We also look at it in terms of load management. So if I have prescribed, you know, 80% for five reps, like are we being able to hit primarily what we want? Because we could be in a fatigue state, we could be under recovered. So we're gonna be able to tailor a lot of our uh, our weights around whether an athletes are recovered and actually prepared to do um, the prescribed load of what we're giving them. What you're going to see is the athlete profiles that we build. So we're going to be able to specifically look at one, how the athlete is doing in our progression from a cycle to cycle, year to year basis, and also um, look at how he compares to the rest of the team. So we take some of our KPIs of what we actually want to see from our athlete, from a strength number, from a power production number, from an asymmetrical number, and then put his uh, in comparative data for the rest of the team. So we look at kind of a lot of these things and how he fits in in terms of uh, where we're gonna program. So it's, if a kid's tremendously strong, like you're gonna see Gabe here, hey, we're gonna look a, a little bit more speed. Uh, we're gonna look at building a lot more power. We're gonna look at decreasing impulse time, which we're gonna get from our force plates. So we're able to actually look at what we're doing program wise and tailor it to the individual athletes as they build competency through the years. When an athlete walks into this room, they all start in the same place. Okay, we wanna be able to look at and assess and really kind of build their foundation an inch deep and a mile wide. So we wanna take them through kind of what we call our grease and groove phase. We wanna look at, hey, building movement competency and moving, movement patterns, okay, and, and doing things the proper way. With the, the foundation pieces laid, then we wanna to start to kind of uh, layer in some of our more advanced phases, some of our gain and grow phases, which is our hypertrophy phase where it's like, hey, if we need to put on more muscle mass, we're going to start to drive them more to that direction. Or a gain phase where we're going to kind of put more of a strength emphasis, more of that injury resilience piece onto it. Okay, and then once those foundations are set and those programs are met, then we want to start going to our go phase where we want to look at the speed aspects of it. How are they applying force? How are they absorbing force? Are we actually really moving the needle in terms of athletic performance? So kind of in a nutshell, what you want to see is those kind of first four years is really that foundation being set and then evolving into that gain and grow and then really kind of ending with their senior year and upperclassman year with that go phase, really kind of pushing that athleticism to the next level to get them prepared for senior seasons and further on into college and professional levels.